Hello, my name is Hector. Welcome back to How to Play FTB Revelation. How's it going? How is everyone doing? Hope you're all doing well. I am a little bit ill. I'm a little bit ill, and I'm just saying that not to get sympathy votes, although if you want to lay any sympathy on me, then do feel free. But uh, <laughs> it's just because I know I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna sound a little bit different. I might sound like I've got a bit of a blocked nose, and that's because I have. So anyway, um, last episode, we the last few episodes we have been going over some of the building mods so we had a look at chisels and bits we had a look at all of the x-tone stuff and other other mods like it and we've had a look at architecture craft loads of stuff lots and lots of stuff so and there's <laughs> This architecture craft. Um, so today we're actually going to do some actual building and the, the mod that we're going to be using is the RF tools mod and you can see up here I've got a uh, I've got a structure I've got a I've got a thing here I've got a thing here ready and waiting so the RF tools builder this is a very versatile device you can use it for a lot of things you can use it as a quarry you can use it to fill in things you can use it to fill in liquids or to pump out liquids just lots and lots of things it is an amazing thing uh, but today we're going to be using it primarily just to build things so there's a few things in here that we won't be using because we're just using it in building mode but what we are going to be using is these shape cards the shape cards you can make pretty simply and the rf tools builder is not that expensive either uh, so the way this works is we're going to be using one of these shape cards you can see here and it just says shape box solid and then you've got a shape void card as well that's basically if you want to dig out an area so if you want to mine an area but in a specific shape it can do that and then you have all these quarry options as well and then the fluid options but we're just going to be using the shape card and we're going to be using a few shape cards so what we can do is you can have i got one in here Oh, I do. Um, let's take that one out. Let's put a new one in, a brand new one like that. Now, you can either open up the GUI like that, and you can see this is what it looks like, or you can, you can, oh, can I? Oh, I, I installed it there. There you go, yes. I installed it by just clicking on it, and you can see it is there now, and you can still get to the GUI just by doing that, which is pretty lovely. And what does this do? Well, you can see right now, it's on a, a solid box with the dimensions five by five by five. So this would make a solid box uh, with this in the center um, of five by five by five. And we can see this if you look at the support preview mode, if you just enable that, you can see um, that's done this with me in the middle, you can see uh, there is that. So let's turn that off. Let's, oh, hey, <laughs> let's go up again. Let's choose something a little bit more exciting there we go we're back up back in the room and um, let's have a look see so you can set it to solid you can also set it to hollow so those are your two options and you can see the num the amount of blocks changes obviously uh, blocks that is fills up the entire thing and hollow does not so you can change whatever shape you have um, so this is doing that and this is using the um the left click if you press right click you can go backwards so this is that's just a nice little nice little thing that i've uh, i've just recently discovered which is great um then we have the dimensions so this is x y and z okay so for instance if we just type 50 50 50 you can see now and you basically you can you can look around at the shape by just drag dragging and clicking like that and a mouse will will zoom in and out which is pretty nice so so that we can see it um so we can see that there if we wanted to make it taller for instance we can do that uh we can make it you know really flat just a flat plane like that this is all doable so that's what that does now the offset the offset row if you leave everything at zero this is the easiest way to explain it if you leave everything at zero it will take the builder, the RF tools builder, as the center point. Offsetting it, this is again X, Y, and Z. So if we wanted to offset it, you know, if we want to make it five blocks above the builder, we can just do that. And then if we look at this, there you go, it will give it there. 
So that is how this works, you can see. Now, very important, before you do any building, <laughs> uh, you need to make sure, because these blocks are solid right now, okay? Uh, don't mine them, because they will go away, and then you won't get them back unless you turn it off and on again. So that is just something to consider. That is just something to consider. So, how does this work if you actually want to do some building? Well, first of all, let's turn this off again. Just be sure to always turn that off before you do anything, okay? And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take that out, and where is... There we go. I'm, I've got a shape rendered in already. That's what I want to be building. A torus, I don't want it to be solid. I want it to be hollow. 71, 11, 71. I don't know why that is... I'm not sure why that is... a. Uh, Oh, I'm guessing because it is always the same number. There we go. Fair enough. Um, so I've got that. If we oh no, if we put that on, you can see this is what it looks like. A pretty cool little structure. So how do you actually replace all of that with with blocks? Well, that's a very good question. A very good question. Let's turn that off. Let's go into our inventory. So um, I want a chest. Uh, let's take that off. Let's put one of you like that, and let's let's make a bigger chest, a slightly bigger chest. There we go, like that. Lovely stuff. What you need to do is basically go on there and put a shape, uh, a chest on the top, and this is where it will take all the items that it needs to build this structure. So it says it needs four thousand two hundred forty-four blocks to make this. So. What I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make this, uh, hang on, let's use the right thing. I've generally, I've chiseled some cobble um, like this, so let's do, oh, no, let's do some of this like that, you know, a load of different materials. So what it will do is it won't, um, if you just put one type of, uh, material in there, it will obviously just make it out of one thing. If you put a variety of that, it will it will basically make it out of a variety of things, and it won't just it will try to do it a bit more naturally. Okay, so uh, let's go to cobble again. Um, this is actually fairly hard to do. Let's do something like that. Uh, I'm just going to spend some time filling this up right now. And uh, I will be back before, oh, hey, before, before, before we press the start button. Right, I'm back, and I upgraded it to a diamond chest because I did some quick calculations, and it wasn't enough blocks, but this should be, this should be. Um, but all that it happens, if it doesn't have enough blocks, the structure is just left unfinished, so you can keep adding to it if that does happen. Uh, so, what we need to do now is, you can see, on redstone mode, on to activate, that is basically standard, so we just do that. And there we go, and it starts to build, and I might get a little bit of lag, but look at it. Look at how cool that is, and you can see it's a really nice, a bit more, yes you are. It's a really nice um, way of building, basically, because obviously you don't have to do it all yourself. And the type of blocks, how it does it, uh, if you put in more than one block type, is it's a really nice spread as well. I've got to say, I think it's really rather wonderful and I think that might be I think that might be done um, and you can see there's a lot left there which is good um, I think that's done I think that is done by the looks of it that is completely done and look how quick that was that would take normally that would take ages to build if we uh, if we didn't do something like this so what I would like to do now just quickly is this the center is this the center um, well, that should be the center, really. Um, I just want to get in here like that. I think that should be the center. I just want to have a quick look-see inside. There we go. Oh, look at it. Look at it. We have an awesome Taurus shape. Um, this is the only time I've ever heard the word Taurus. But this is what a Taurus is. So there we go. So that is... That is stage one, and let's have a look at it from down below. Let's have a look. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. That's an awesome thing. That is an awesome thing. So, what else can we do with these shape cards? Well, we're not. We are not done. We are not done because there are there are more things. So, say for instance, one of the things I would like to do now is I would like to have. Um, 
I would like to have like cylinders come, I think, to the middle. I think that would be quite cool. And I think what we're going to do ultimately is put our big draconic energy um, battery in the middle here. Uh, and I'd like some sort of cylinder things. So if we look at these shape cards, um, let's not do that one. Let's do this one. Actually, no, let's do this one. There we go. Um, what we've got here that I've got, obviously, I've been messing around with some stuff. Let's put everything everything to zero. Uh, there we go. And let's make that a little bit smaller. So, I don't know. Shall we say six? No, let's say, let's say five. Uh, and let's put this to a cylinder. Where are you? So there's two types of cylinder. There's a normal cylinder and then there's a capped cylinder. You can see the difference there between a normal cylinder and a capped one. A capped one just basically has ha, has a flat top and bottom, whereas a normal cylinder is see-through. So that's actually what I want. Hollow, obviously, if you change it to solid, it doesn't matter anyway. Um, but there we go. Uh, I obviously don't want to make it that. I <laughs> That's a weird... That's a weird look. Um, 11 maybe? I don't know. I don't know. That's something like that I want. Uh, and actually, I'm going to need... So this is confusing now, because obviously, obviously, what I want, I want it to look... Can I... I want it to be sideways. And in here, we can't do that, which is a bit, a bit of a shame. So actually, I wanted it to be maybe that. Uh, and that needs to be about 5, as does this. Something like that. So, ooh, that's a rubbish shape, isn't it? Look at that. That's not a nice shape. That's not a nice shape at all. Uh, what if we do six? That's not too bad. What about seven? Uh, seven. Okay, so seven's not too bad. That's That looks a little bit nicer. And I want it to be... So, this was a circumference of... 71 so I only want this to be what half of that is 35 obviously so maybe we say 30 maybe we say 30 so how do we get it to flip well that is where a, another machine from RF tools comes into play and it is called the composer so let's just put that down here and you can see there's a lot of stuff here a lot of stuff um, let's just turn that off so first of all you want to put another shape card in here and this, and weirdly, right now, the zoom key doesn't seem to be working. But what you want to do is put a shape card in here and then define the area. Okay, so we don't need it to be that long, but um, let's say, I don't know, let's say 50. That should be, that should be better. So whatever this is, our shape needs to be within this boundary. Okay, so that's, that's fairly important. And you can see it, it goes to composition. Then, what we want to do, we've got where is our cylinder, we'll put this in here like that, and you can see this is where it comes onto now. So, uh, this is the thing, I'm guessing that is up like that, there we go. So it is, it is done like that. Now, this is the great thing, you can see we, we have the flip blocks, that just flips it, so it puts it upside down, which is great for some shapes, like the cone for instance. Uh, in fact, I have a cone, don't I, somewhere? Yeah, shape cone. Let's put that in for a second, and you'll be able to see. So we've got a cone there now. You can see like that. If we flip it, it puts it upside down, which is really rather great. So there you go. That's that's that. Let's put this back in the cylinder. So what we can also do is there you go. Flip it on its x, on its y, or on its z axis, which is brilliant. That is exactly what we want. So um, now then. I think the last thing we need to do is all of this like that. And then I'm guessing, I'm guessing, yeah, there you go. We've got that there. So I'm guessing that should allow us, that should allow us to get, oh, hey, to get this. So let's pop that in. Uh, that's the torus. We don't need that right now. We want this. So uh, preview mode. There you go. We've got, we've got this like that. And this is actually, this is actually quite long. A lot longer than I thought it would be. So, even if I offset it, that's probably... That is probably too long, really. Um, But actually, well, let's see how... 
how much more do we need to give it? Let's do some quick math. So one, oh no, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So eleven. So that's twenty-two extra blocks, basically, that we need to make it fully. That I wasn't going to do that, but actually, it might make sense to just. Uh, do it this way because the good thing about this one is that it is I was gonna do it four times but if we do it twice and then just take out the middle that should work that should totally work I hope that makes sense I hope that makes sense let's do that there we go um, because we can actually be in here so that you can see this is what I meant by uh, you need to be careful about those blue things if we take them off and then put them back on again you can see we've got them again so let's take that off um, now, I don't know if this will allow us to change the dimensions. I sort of feel like it won't. So let's take it out. Let's put it back in here. Let's see if I can um, get it to be right. Right, I got I got this working. Uh, I just had to increase it by a little bit. And then I just offset it by one, basically, to, to get this to work. And you can see, just offset by one. And this is now... This is now it seems to be doing exactly what we want. So let's let's see if it builds if it has enough blocks to do it again. Uh off oh uh oh. <laughs> what's what's this? Why has that gone like that? So that was still on. Let's do that again. Oh and it's it's kept those blocks. See, they are a little bit weird, but you can you can get rid of them. They're an oddity. They're an oddity. I've never really got used to them. Uh, sometimes they seem to stick around. I've clearly just done something a little bit wrong there. There we go. No problem. Right. Let's let's now flip this on again. And you're not building. Oh. Yes, you are. Let's get in. <laughs> There we go, and it's done. Is it done? Oh no, look at that. It is it is a little bit off. It is a little bit off, so we can we can basically just add those ourselves. That's not too bad. But actually the good thing is it allows us to just um to be able to get out of here right now, which is no bad thing. So we can see I've got I've got a cylinder across the this side now uh, yeah that's cool that is very cool so what I'm gonna do now is do one that way so I've got the cross sections now I've done that and I did that the same way just by flipping the axis and now we are gonna do the base pit uh, so oh hang on was that flipping off yes so let's flip it on there we go we should there you go <laughs> look at that that is cool there you go, another another section. Has it done the other bit? It has, totally has. There we go. And you can see now that that has that done. So I'm going to just make just a few more little changes here and there, maybe to the base and then maybe to here as well. So we have the pillar in the middle and this is the last thing that we're going to be doing today. It's taken me quite a while. I've got thickened glass. It's taken quite a long time to make all of that. Uh, and I'm just going to set it off like that. And then we're just going to sneak out here and watch it be built. Oh, yeah, look at that. How cool is that? Look at it. Look at it being built. I love it. So that is all we're going to have time for uh, for today. What we're going to be doing next episode is doing some more building, uh, using the RF Tools Builder to make some other shapes as well, because uh, it can do a few more things. And I thought it'd be nice to showcase some more and uh, just, just build some more of this. <laughs> Look at this. I love that. That is the coolest thing. You can see a dome and it sort of looks like a UFO at the moment, but we'll be doing some more building. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. If you did, a like or comment is very much appreciated. And of course, uh, a subscription would be lovely as well. I've been Hector. This has been How to Play FTB Revelation and I will see you next one. Bye bye.